guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie and I upload videos on lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I know it's been a while since I've done a sit down video with you guys because I've been doing so much hair videos, but I am finally here to talk to you guys about how my second and third trimester went throughout my pregnancy. I realized that I am three months postpartum already, almost four months, and now is what I'm getting around to filming this video, but I hope you guys can appreciate me talking about how my pregnancy went. But as I've mentioned before, I did have a pretty rough pregnancy and it was nearly impossible for me to sit down and record videos, which is the reason why I'm getting around to it now. So the first thing that I would like to jump into when talking about my pregnancy is that I do suffer from something called Sjogren's Syndrome, which is basically a disorder in which your body's immune system attacks its healthy cells. It's usually something that onsets with arthritis and lupus, but in my situation, I only have Sjogren's Syndrome, and it's something that my doctor just basically gave me medication for me to take every single day. The way that this affected my pregnancy was basically that I was considered technically high risk because with this disorder also comes the complication of where your baby can be born with some heart issues. So I had to basically go to more doctor's appointments than anyone would on their regular appointments. Even considering the fact that we're in the middle of a pandemic, I still had to go in person to the doctor much more often than I probably would have liked to do so. So one of the main things that happened commonly during my second trimester was that I was basically going to weekly ultrasound appointments. Now, in a regular pregnancy, usually you would go to an ultrasound appointment maybe like once a trimester just to see, to make sure that everything is going fine with your baby inside. But with my pregnancy, I did have to go weekly from the moment I turned like 16 weeks up until pretty much the end of my pregnancy. Which on the plus side, it was nice that I got to see my baby every week. I got that reassurance that everything was okay with him. But on the downside, I had to get up and get ready to go to an appointment every single week. And sometimes, some weeks I would have like three appointments because I had appointments for ultrasounds. I had appointments to see my regular OB. I had appointments to see my high-risk OB. Um, I had appointments to see my specialist. I, I see a rheumatologist. I see a, a blood doctor, a hematologist. Like... There's so many different types of appointments that I had throughout my pregnancy that it wasn't even funny, guys. Like, I was just over it. It was to the point where I would literally only get ready to go to a doctor's appointment. That's it. Because I didn't want to do anything else. I was already feeling sick enough as it was. So technically, I didn't go to my first doctor's appointment until pretty late, I would say, or to my first ultrasound appointment until I was like 13 weeks. Most people like to go earlier, like 8 or 9 weeks. And my first appointment wasn't until I was 13 weeks, which is the reason why my first ultrasound picture, you can already pretty much see a full baby. You don't see like a little peanut size or anything like that. So by the time that you're 13 weeks, you're basically going into your second trimester. So I did see the baby the ultrasound for the first time and hear his heartbeat during my second trimester at that point I was also already beginning to show and that was also when some of my first trimester symptoms were starting to like slowly go away like I wasn't as nauseous anymore all day like I was in the first trimester one thing that I would say was probably the bulk of my second trimester was that I was getting headaches Pretty much every day so I went from being nauseous every day to getting headaches every day sometimes it would be migraines like I would take the Tylenol that you're supposed to be able to take while you're pregnant and it would do absolutely nothing so I wouldn't even bother to take any medication after that because nothing would work guys like I basically just had to deal with my migraines and my headaches and they would last like all day all night Another thing that happened to me during my second trimester was that I was getting up to pee more frequently than in my first trimester. So basically, it was it was basically just getting worse every night. Like I just had to pee three to four times a night, and it was it was crazy because I couldn't sleep. Like I already had a hard time falling asleep to begin with, and then having to pee every few hours or every half an hour was just made it worse. Which also led into my next symptom, which was extreme fatigue. I just, I couldn't stop being tired. Like, that was probably, 
the worst part of my whole pregnancy just how tired I felt throughout all trimesters feeling so tired I could barely get up to make myself food like I barely had the energy to do anything so that's why I was unable to film videos as well because I was just so extremely tired that I literally just laid in the couch all day and only got up and ready when I had to go to a doctor's appointment which I don't even know how I built up the strength to go to those appointments but at least I was lucky that I did have a car ride, like I didn't have to take the bus or the train or anything or drive myself. Like basically my dad would drive me to pretty much every appointment, if not my boyfriend when he was able to, like if he wasn't working. My second trimester is also where I first felt my baby kick. I would say I started to feel the baby kick as early as 19 weeks. Some people would say that's kind of early, but since it was my second pregnancy, I think it's fairly normal to feel the baby's kicks earlier in your pregnancy either because you kind of recognize or realize more or less what the kicks actually are or you're just more in tuned but I would say 19 weeks I started feeling those little flutters in my stomach and then by 21 weeks it was already full-on kicks that was like recognizable that was the baby's movements not just something in my stomach and his dad could basically feel you know his movements on my stomach by 21 weeks he felt some during 19 weeks but 21 weeks was when I, he officially felt like a real move, a real kick. And I would say it was usually in the in the nighttime that I would feel um, the baby kick more. He would kick when I would lay down to basically just watch TV and eat a snack. Oof, that was his very time to move around. Another thing is for Christmas, my boyfriend did buy me a pregnancy pillow. So I was, um, I basically had a pregnancy pillow before my belly was really like, you know, a fuss. But... I was still having a hard time falling asleep guys like even with the pregnancy pillow without it um, it was hard for me to get into a good position and as my belly grew it was just it would get worse and worse so the the pregnancy pillow did help some but I still had a hard time getting into a comfortable position sleeping so overall to sum up my second trimester I would say it was definitely better than my first trimester. I was less nauseous throughout the day, but I did get more headaches and migraines, it's at least at the beginning of the, the second trimester. Peeing in the middle of the night slowed down at first, but then it just picked right back up. I was still extremely tired and mostly unable to do anything throughout the day. And sleeping was getting more and more uncomfortable despite having a pregnancy pillow. Alright, now moving on to my third trimester. For my third trimester, I would say it was pretty similar to my second trimester and the fact that I was still really tired, really fatigued, really unable to pretty much do anything. And it was kind of worse in a sense because I was just gaining more weight, I was getting heavier, and like in the third trimester is where I was really beginning to feel my weight. Like, guys, I already weighed around 170 pounds before I got pregnant. <sighs> After pregnancy, let's just say by the end of the third semester, I was at 210 pounds. So I was definitely feeling my weight and definitely having a harder time getting around, sleeping at night time, and just feeling my, you know, feeling like if I was able to do anything. I was just, I was having a hard time. Another thing that got worse during my third trimester was my insomnia. During the second trimester, like I said, I was having trouble sleeping. But during my third trimester, I just wasn't sleeping at all. Like, I would basically lay my head down to rest and be awake all night, just waiting until the next time I had to go pee, the next time, the next time, until it was time to wake up. And I would even wake up super early, like 6 or 7 in the morning, just because I couldn't sleep. Like, there was no point in me staying in bed. I'm not even kidding you guys, at this point I was getting up to pee five and six times during the middle of the night. Basically when I increased my water intake, I started getting less headaches, but then I started having to pee more and more during the night. And that's pretty much it guys for my third trimester. Overall, it felt like my pregnancy went kind of quickly, but my third trimester definitely dragged on, especially like the last few weeks, like not knowing when the baby's coming, if I was going to make it to my due date or not, and just like the excitement of waiting for the baby to come, just, I don't know, I just, I wanted him out already, I wanted to meet him, I wanted to know what he was like, 
and it just felt extra slow during those last couple of weeks. Another thing I did during my pregnancy was that I was trying to do like weekly progress pictures. Um, if you saw my, my pregnancy belly transformation video, I was trying to do weekly pictures and videos so that I could put together for that video. But guys, I was lucky if I was able to get one video or one picture a month because even for that, it was a struggle. But I was still able to put something cute together and if you haven't checked out that video, please make sure to watch that video after you finish with this one because it's, it came out so durable. I'm so happy that I was able to do it and I'm so happy that it turned out the way it did because... It was perfect. And basically guys, that's pretty much everything that I could think of at least for my second and my third trimester. Um, it was pretty boring but you know, at the end it was worth it. And I got my beautiful bundle of joy and I love him so much. We're obsessed with him. He's the cutest thing ever. And every day he's just growing bigger and bigger. It's crazy how time is basically flying us by. But please feel free to comment down below if you would be interested in hearing my labor and delivery story or if you would like to know how things are going for me so far now that I'm postpartum or even my breastfeeding journey, just anything you guys would be interested on that's related to postpartum, just let me know and I'll be happy to sit down and film another video for you guys. And also stay tuned for my spooky videos coming up for the month of October. Um, I know we are already in October, but the next week video I promise will be the first makeup look for Halloween. So subscribe to my channel if you like to watch those type of videos and stay tuned for them. Hit the like button for this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ooh.